What up gamers, Fence here here, and welcome back to Shadowverse. So last time we finished things up with Luna's story, and now we're going to be continuing on with Urias here. Yep, we'll be starting Urias's story here. Um, yeah, I did wait until they released the main expansion, like I said before, at the end of Luna's story. Yeah, I just wanted them to reveal it first to see if there's any good cards for me to use, and yeah, it actually took them quite a while, like... <laughs> A lot longer now than than before to reveal those cards, and so yeah, um, I just decided to just wait until it was released to see the cards. And yeah, there really wasn't any cards I wanted to use, so yeah, I do feel safe to like make this my final deck for now to start Urisa story, in which yeah, it is mainly composed of vampires because my only knowledge right now, I mean, also in Urisa's name over here, is that he is a vampire. And so I just decided to include just a bunch of vampires here. Not sure if this is like really good, but hopefully it will be good enough. So yeah, this will be the deck that I'll be rolling with over here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see just how good his story is. You know, so far Luna's story, I would say maybe it's my favorite, but we'll see about Urias here because he also seems pretty entertaining. Um, yeah. As a uh, as a story character here, and by the way, he is a Bloodcraft leader, so we'll be using those Bloodcraft cards like those vampires, and we'll see how we do here. All right, Urias, go from the beginning, awakening. All right, long ago, Urias was defeated by his rival and banished to a castle, awakening from his long slumber. He realizes how much the world has changed. Yeah, by the way, also, Urias here is the last of, I guess, the, I guess, the victims of the, uh, <laughs> the Morningstar. Because, yeah, next up will be Eris, which, you know, I feel like her story will be of, like, you know, integrated with everyone's over here since, yeah, it seems like she'll be more included in the Morningstar stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get on with Urias here. Really excited to, uh, get to Eris's as well. And let's go. Download that voice data. Alright, here we go again. An ominous presence has filled the skies. People know by one name the morning star has a promise of freedom, a glimpse of new worlds, of light reaching into oblivion, a shadow in mortal hearts. When darkness covers the world, the, the gates of annihilation will open. Alright. Time to battle. Urias, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get through that really quick. Because we've read that so many times now. Okay. Urias. This castle is crumbling. How long has it been? I gotta say though, man, like I might have said this before, not sure if I did, but the Urias man just looks like a, a JoJo character. <laughs> Pretty much a Dio here, but we get to play as as him, as a good guy, I guess. Oh. Is this reality? No. Something is amiss. To think that I should return from oblivion after so long. Uh-oh. Hmm? Has some fool taken up residence in my home? Oh. You are not permitted here. State your business at once. All right, yeah, she was tasked to go to Urias's castle, right? I think. Urias Formond. I am no other. You're awake. Those beasts are under your command. Excuse me? Don't play innocent. <laughs> As an enemy of the crown, you must die. Wow. <laughs> so, dude, we're like just... We're just starting from the very beginning of Urias's story, man. Like, he doesn't remember anything from his past. At least for now. Prepare for defeat. You must die! Like, didn't the story said he just woke from a slumber? But wow. But yeah, here's Bloodcraft guys. Um, yeah, their main thing, their main uh, you know, uniqueness to them is the vengeance thing, where if uh, your leader's defense is 10 or less, then it will activate. So yeah, let's go play our fighter here. I live by let's the see floor. how this goes. Uh, deal damage to each other. Yeah, they, they also have cards where they would want to um, deal damage to each other as well. Which uh, this one here will deal 3 damage to all allies and enemies. 
Oh, I see what we're gonna do. Use our fighter and then our demonic storm. Oh, then Dark General is here too. Okay, now I got this. Play fighter, demonic storm, and then Dark General because now since our defense is less than uh, 10, or I guess, yeah, less than 11, um, yeah, her vengeance ability activates, which is to gain storm. And then we can just finish off Erica here. I'm sorry, Princess. So yeah, that's the gist of Bloodcraft. But you know, we've gotten like other keywords as well with like Avery, San, what else, Wrath. All too easy. But yeah, I feel like with uh, Bloodcraft here, it has definitely become more than just vengeance over the years. <gasps> Be proud, warrior. You fought well. Ha! I... I should have foreseen this. I beg your pardon. My hours have been stolen. And so I must spend them with great care. Urias, wait! <laughs> and she's gone. Oh. Hmm? Is this? May we meet again? What was that? <laughs> he just got... cut on his cheek. Okay. So yeah. Yeah, he just woke up, right? If we go back to Awakening. Oh, defeated by his rival. Awakening from his long slumber. He realized how much the world has changed. Yeah, I feel like we're just pretty much along for the ride with him, man. Like, we're on the same level. Uh, but yeah, spirits at battle. After being awoken by an unfair, unfamiliar beast, uh, Urias was suddenly attacked by a girl. <laughs> Is this Luna? Oh no. Dude. Oh my gosh, dude, just... I don't know how long he's been asleep, man. Um, oh wait, that's not the deck I want to use. Uh, Urias over here. But yeah, dude, how long? Centuries have surely passed oh, since he okay. vanished me. That answered my question, the centuries. <laughs> oh my, yeah, he's gonna be encountering a lot of weirdos. The first one was Erica, now Luna. <laughs> no longer does he walk this earth. Oh. Who's he talking about? For all his strength, he was a man, and the lives of men are fleeting. Okay. I don't see anyone. Uh-oh. He doesn't seem like someone who likes to play. Okay, I'll go see. The girl is not alone, but her compatriots are nowhere in sight. Hello there. I'm on an adventure. Do you want to be part of it? You can be the person who gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> Your courage is admirable, but such a one-sided battle would bring me little joy. Tell me, little one, where is Baltasar? Mm, maybe that's the person he was talking about. I don't know. Who's that? Has the very memory of the champion vanished? Hey, what's wrong? Wow. We should start now. Oh, here we go. Those are the ones to whom you spoke. I am Urias Formont, the last of the vampires. Prepare for defeat. Prepare for Empire? defeat. Yeah, did these two, like, I know that Shadowverse Evolve got released, and I think these two have, like, they mixed their, their classes together. Prepare for defeat. Alright. Let's see how we deal with this deck. Um, I, hopefully it's good enough. Um, ooh, maybe, uh, there we go. Rouge Vampire, play him. Got me feeling hungry. You should come on my adventure. But yeah, uh, try my best to uh, stick with the vampires. There we go. You have to be nice. You're nothing but a child. All right. Uh, play you the next vampire noble, Vate. Let's go in. Uh, ooh, should I should I attack? I mean, I feel like I want to. Or should I go for for the face? Uh, it doesn't matter. Then we can evolve next turn. Oh no! Really? 
Oh man. Well, that sucks. Well, we got the dust shade bats over here. Um. Oh yeah. Would really like to activate his uh, Avery's there, but don't think we can do that. Maybe next turn. Let's go for you. You're gonna go on an adventure. You're nothing but a child. How much is in it for me? Oh, is she gonna evolve you? How's this? What? How come? Nope, you're not gonna evolve. But yeah, I'm not the I'm not gonna be the best uh <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be the best Bloodcraft player, but Especially with these cards, I don't really play with these cards, but we'll see how we do. Um, but yeah, we can play you. Stop it! Okay, and then uh, yeah, we can yeah we can just uh, evolve you too. Weakness Why not? Power. Then we'll play. I'll play you. I won't hurt you. Too much. This wasn't worth it. Nice. I'm so lonely. Yeah, with the sword of the vampire over here, we can activate vengeance, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, I think we just pretty much won here. Really wish we can use Ryoris over here. <laughs> Almost uh, kind of messed up saying his name. Oh, can evolve you. You're already evolved. Oh my! This pack's more as promised. All right, we did it. So far, not too bad. All too. All right. Why won't you let me kill you? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think that. I think the the reasoning, our answer would be very much straightforward. We don't want to die. You are mightier than your form suggests. You are supposed to be the one who gets killed, but you didn't follow the rules at all. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> are you ready, mother and father? Those are your parents, are they not? I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> what is it you fear? Fate has already spoken to you in words crueler than mine. And yet you live. You must have heart, little one. Yeah, dude, just Urias. <laughs> Examining other people. Learning about them. Uh, but what is this? Urias witnessed Luna's great immaterial power and remarked it on the cruelty of fate. Helpless. This will be our last one. This will be our last one for this video. Something approaches. Oh, here we go. Wow, three. A brood of the beasts from Castle Darkstone. Thus begins a new test of strength. <sighs> Ooh. My sit. Ha! Weaklings! Your pure isle tactics doom you. Swarm beasts. So soon it ends. Ha. Oh nice, you got a double. Oh. That was incredible. You seem capable. My name is Urias Formond. You are? Dragspear. First name, Rowan. A worthy fighter, no doubt. I think I know you. Fortune has brought the two of us together. Those beasts have no passion for battle. I challenge you. <laughs> to a duel. I actually don't even remember this encounter. It's been a while since I last saw Rowan. I do remember Luna and Erika's. Don't remember this too much. Prepare for defeat. This one's for my family. Ooh. Accelerate one. 
Uh, why not? Hear the dragon's roar. Okay, he didn't play a follower, so I think we, we can just play uh, Night Screech. Oh, Oracle. Alright. Play you. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Um, yeah, we can just try to get some more cards. Nice. I always say I got a bunch of vampires, but I also got a bat here, which I think is okay. Alright. Hmm. What shall we do? We don't have vengeance on. We can always play this if we want. As promised. Oh wait, we can evolve one, deal five damage? Promised. Then yeah, we can just try to hold things off here. Don't need to evolve with our dust shade. Oh, he's really thinking a lot. <laughs> he is thinking. Oh, we just won. He decided to not go after my uh, card over here. All right. As promised. Going to show you. But you're right now. So far, so easy. Nothing like too bad. All too easy. <laughs> it is right now. All too easy. Your restraints is unnecessary and insulting. Insulting. I have overestimated you. You are fearful. Fearful of me and fearful of yourself. Ha! Uh. Why? I can't lose control. So you welcome defeat? If that's what I have to do. I see. Then I shall continue to seek a worthy opponent. I am finished with you. But allow me to inquire. What became of Baltazar? Conqueror of the vampires? I'm not much of one for history. History? Wait, Urias? Formand? That can't be your real name. You're saying you're a vampire. That is no concern of yours. Farewell. I'm guessing in a past life he was not a vampire. <laughs> Perhaps we are not fated to meet again, Baltasar. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty interesting with uh, Urias here. I definitely see like two things with him. One is that he likes to study other people. With like Luna and, and um, Roan here. But two, he's got his own like personal objective to meet up with whoever uh, Balthazar is. Apparently the conqueror of, of vampires. <laughs> it's about to say dragons. But yeah, vampires. But yeah, I'm guessing that's going to be very much important later on. But yeah guys, uh, that was it for this video. That was Awakening, Spirits of Battle and Helpless, Next Time Yearning, Attachment, and an Invitation. Alright. Yeah, I want to see how his story goes. I'm very curious right now to see like what becomes of, I, I don't know, I guess his backstory. It's still pretty much like a mystery here. <laughs> um, but yeah guys, um, hopefully um, also my deck is good enough. I just put on like a bunch of vampires. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll be good for now. Um, not sure if maybe later on I might have to make some changes, I don't know. Uh, but yeah guys, um, that'll be it for now. That's game.